Carlos Felipe Zimenez Bello SDB, GCL born the 3rd of February 1948 is an East Timorese Roman Catholic bishop. His religious life openly denounced the brutal Indonesian occupation of his country. In 1996, he shared the Nobel Peace Prize with José Ramos Horta for working towards a just and peaceful solution to the conflict in East Timor. Topic Early life and religious vocation The fifth child of Domingos Vaz Felipe and Ermelinda Baptista Felipe, Carlos Felipe Zimenez Bello was born in the village of Wailakama, near Vimas, on the north coast of East Timor. His father, a schoolteacher, died two years later. His childhood years were spent in Catholic schools at Bokau and OSSU, before he proceeded to the Dare Minor Seminary outside Dili, from which he graduated in 1968. From 1969 until 1981, apart from periods of practical training 1974 to 1976 in East Timor and in Macau, he was in Portugal and Rome where, having become a member of the Salesian Society, he studied philosophy and theology before being ordained a priest in 1980. Returning to East Timor in July 1981, he became a teacher for 20 months, then director for two months, at the Salesian College at Fatumaca. Topic pastoral leadership On the resignation of Martinho da Costa López in 1983, Carlos Felipe Zimenez Bello was appointed apostolic administrator of the Dili Diocese, becoming head of the East Timor Church and directly responsible to the Pope. On 6 February 1989, he was consecrated titular Bishop of Lorium. Father Bello was the choice of the Vatican's pro-nuncio in Jakarta and the Indonesian leaders because of his supposed submissiveness, but he was not the choice of the Timorese priests who did not attend his inauguration. However within only five months of his assuming office, he protested vehemently, in a sermon in the cathedral, against the brutalities of the Kreras massacre 1983 and condemned the many Indonesian arrests. The church was the only institution capable of communicating with the outside world, so with this in mind the new apostolic administrator started writing letters and building up overseas contacts, in spite of the isolation arising from the opposition of the Indonesians and the disinterest of most of the world. In February 1989 he wrote to the President of Portugal, the Pope, and the UN Secretary General, calling for a UN referendum on the future of East Timor and for international help for the East Timorese, who were dying as a people and a nation, but when the UN letter became public in April, he became even more of a target of the Indonesians. This precariousness increased when Bishop Bello gave sanctuary in his own home, as he did on various occasions, to use escaping the Santa Cruz massacre 1991, and endeavored to expose the numbers of victims killed. Bishop Bello's labors on behalf of the East Timorese and in pursuit of peace and reconciliation were internationally recognized when, along with José Ramos Horta, he was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in December 1996. Bishop Bello capitalized upon this honor through meetings with Bill Clinton of the United States and Nelson Mandela of South Africa. In 1995, he also won the John Humphrey Freedom Award from the Canadian human rights group Rights and Democracy. Topic resignation as apostolic administrator and new pastoral activity In the aftermath of East Timorese independence on 20 May 2002, the pressure of events and the ongoing stress he endured began to show their effects on Bishop Bello's health. Pope John Paul II accepted his resignation as Apostolic Administrator of Dili on 26 November 2002. Following his resignation Bishop Bello traveled to Portugal for medical treatment. By the beginning of 2004, there were repeated calls for him to return to East Timor and to run for the office of President. However, in May 2004 he told Portuguese state-run television RTP, that he would not allow his name to be put up for nomination. I have decided to leave politics to politicians," he stated. One month later, on 7 June 2004, Pasquale Chávez, rector major of the Salesian Society, announced from Rome that Bishop Bello, returned to health, would take up a new assignment. In agreement with the Holy See, he would go to Mozambique as a missionary, and live as a member of the Salesian Society in that country. In a statement released on 8 June, Bishop Bello said that, following two meetings in 2003 and in 2004 with the Prefect of the Congregation for the Evangelization of Peoples, he would go on a mission to the Diocese of Maputo, the capital of Mozambique, as he had wanted to since his youth. He started in July 2004, the same year he was awarded an honorary doctorate from CEU Cardinal Herrera University. In February 2011 Bello received the Prize for Lusophonic Personality of the Year, given by MIL, Movimento Internacional Lusophono in the Lisbon Academy of Sciences.
Topic References Topic Primary Sources Bello, Carlos Felipe Zimenez. The Nobel Lecture, given by the Nobel Peace Prize Laureate 1996, Carlos Felipe Zimenez Bello, titular Bishop of Lorium and Apostolic Administrator of Dili East Timor, Oslo, 10 December 1996. ANS MAG, A Periodical for the Salesian Community, Year 3, No. 25 December 1996. Topic. Studies. Colombo, Ferdinando. Timor Anno Zero, in Boletino Salesiano 124.4 April 2000, 18-20. Cristales, Irena. Bitter Dawn, East Timor, A People's Story. London, Z Books, 2002. Davana, Umberto. Il Mondo ha Skelto Timor, in Boletino Salesiano 121.2 February 1997, 4-5. Davana, Umberto. Il Nobel per la Pace, la Forza della non violenza a Timor Est, in Boletino Salesiano 120.11, December 1997, 4-5. Garulo, Carlos. The Nobel Prize for Peace, who is Bishop Bello? ANS Mag, a periodical for the Salesian community, Year 3, No. 23, November 1996, 6-8. English language edition. Hainsworth, Paul, and Stephen McCloskey, eds. The East Timor Question, The Struggle for Independence from Indonesia. Forward by John Pilger, preface by José Ramos Horta. London, I. B. Tories, 2000. Jardine, Matthew. East Timor, Genocide in Paradise. Introduction by Noam Chomsky, Real Story Series, 2nd ed. Monroe, Me, Adonian Press, 1999. Cohen, Arnold. From the Place of the Dead, The Epic Struggles of Bishop Bello of East Timor. Introduction by the Dalai Lama. New York, St. Martin's Press, 1999. Lennox, Rowena. Fighting Spirit of East Timor, The Life of Martin Ho da Costa Lopez. London, Z Books, 2000. Marker, Jamshid, East Timor, A Memoir of the Negotiations of Independence. Jefferson, N.C., McFarland, 2003. Nickel, Bill. Timor, A Nation Reborn. Jakarta, Equinox, 2002. Orlando, Vito. Timor, Piu Che Pora, in Boletino Salesiano 124.1 January 2000, 18-20. Pinto, Constancio, and Matthew Jardine. East Timor's Unfinished Struggle, Inside the Timorese Resistance, A Testimony. Preface by José Antonio Ramos Horta. Forward by Alan Nairn. Boston, South End Press, 1996. Puthenkadam, Peter, ed. Iangriha Iha Timor Lorosa A. Tinan. Dili, Kendiaman Yuskup, 1997. Smith, Michael G. Peacekeeping in East Timor, The Path to Independence, by Michael G. Smith, with Maureen D. International Peace Academy, Occasional Paper Series, 1st U.S. ed. Boulder, Call, Lynn Riener, 2003. Straka, Silvano. Un Vescovo e il Suo Popolo, in Boletino Salesiano 120.1 January 1996, 10-12 Subroto, Hendro. Eyewitness to Integration of East Timor. Jotkarta, Pustaka Siner Harapan, 1997. Taylor, John G. East Timor The Price of Freedom. London, Z Books, 1999. Taylor, John G. Indonesia's Forgotten War, The Hidden History of East Timor. London, Z Books, 1991.